Hello everyone, this is Hero here and welcome to another King of Fighters 98 Ultimate Match Online video. Okay. Today's video, what we're gonna talk about is the long awaited zero life draw video. Okay, I need to apologize in advance that because when I recorded the in-game video okay, for Zero Life Draw we were uh, in a very noisy environment basically we were in a cafe and when I tried to speak over in the video I realized that my voice got buried in all the surrounding sound all the noise around me so I have no choice okay uh, I did try to salvage the audio but Apparently, I I I can't I couldn't do it. So I know try I to mute the whole video and re-record. Uh, my commentating on the video again. Okay, so without further ado, let's go into the live draw video, and I will do a conclusion after that. See you guys later. Okay, guys. As you can see from here, so right now we are about to start the live draw for zero. So the timing has like five minutes left. You guys can see on the screen. So basically at the score ranking, currently first is this person called CBB Nick. Okay, with 6,330 points. So in another one or two minutes time, the points will start to go up. Okay, so basically at this point of time, actually with all my club mates, we are in a cafe. Okay, we are doing this uh, live draw. So the clock is counting down very close now to 4 minutes left before the event concludes for zero. So CBB Nick, his point is going up as you guys can see. Okay, I'm kind of refreshing the score ranking so it's going up to at least 7930 points with 3 minutes and 45 seconds left okay so my clubmate CKTYB has actually caught up okay so his point is shooting up very very fast okay because um, he's going first position rank 1 for 0 okay so currently now he's at 86 Okay, wrong. Apparently, jump up by 10,000 points. Okay, at this point of time, I decided to open up a few more chests because I want to go for top 30. I decided to go for top, top 30 ranking to get additional 30 frags. Okay, so my clubmate is currently now at 10,550 points because he wants to get first for zero. Okay, so we are now at 3 minutes left. Okay, 3 minutes left. My... The other clubmate, okay, called Elf, he's actually catching up, okay, because he's actually aiming for second position. So prior to the draw, we internally as a club has already decided which position they are going for, okay, so as not to clash or to outbeat each other. Okay, so actually Elf is actually aiming for second place. So CB, CBB Nick is at 8,000 points, so Elf... Okay, has actually jumped up to 10950. Okay, third position is also my clubmate, 9730. Okay, right now it's at 10030. We are at 2 minutes, 15 seconds. Okay, so Taku EDF is actually going for third position. Okay, so we are at 2 minutes left. Okay, 2 minutes left. So the final two minutes to one minute, especially the last minute, is where points will actually shoot up very, very high. At this point in time, you will be you will be able to tell which players are actually going for the boss. Okay, at this point in time. So fifth position is for my clubmate T Lu. Okay, he's aiming for the top seven rankings. Okay, between four to seven. Okay, so you guys can see the top three has already broken 10,000 points. So right now we are just waiting. Okay, the points are not going up at the moment. We're just waiting to see if the, if the fourth position guy 
is actually going to throw in more points. So we are just waiting. Okay. Throughout this whole bidding, okay, we are close to one minute point. Okay. Throughout this whole bidding, okay, we have our club mates that is not going for zero to be spotters. Spotters as in we will look at the other club, other players, at what points they are. They will inform the those that are bidding for zero. So that in order not for them to catch up and overtake them in terms of points at the last second. Okay. We are now at 30 seconds left. Okay. 30 seconds left. So you guys can see. Okay. Anything goes, especially in the last few seconds. Points will suddenly go up very, very high, very, very fast. Okay. First position. Okay. My club made at 12,000 points. Okay, second position also very close at 12,000 points. Okay, so last five seconds. Three, two, one. Done. Okay, so you guys can see, okay, with zero event concluded, my top three, the top three position for zero. Okay, it's actually. My clubmates, okay? Congrats to them. CKTYB, L, Taku, EDF, okay? With each of them at between 11,000 to 12,000 points. Okay? 11,000 to 12,000 points. Okay, just to note that these points doesn't really reflect on the global server. And this doesn't really reflect on all bosses okay because each boss depends on the player how much they are willing to spend on that boss some boss tends to be very expensive okay namely crazy roy and zero but compared to crazy uh, orochi leona she is way way cheaper okay i got first position for crazy and uh, Orochi Leona. Okay, Orochi Leona I only spent about 40,000 diamonds only. Okay. For this, okay, it's actually above 70,000 diamonds. Okay, above 70,000 diamonds for this kind of points. Crazy Leroy was around that kind of price or so. Okay, on top of that for global server because the amount that you guys pay to get diamonds is actually lower than the Asia server. Okay, for 100 USD, you guys actually get about 4,000 over diamonds. Compared to Asia, we get 6,000 plus. So, this overall score will actually be much, much lower in a global server compared to the Asia server. Okay, so, as I mentioned, if you do not have the diamonds to actually go for the rankings especially the top three rankings okay then i will suggest not to go for these top three rankings because top three rankings you need to spend a lot of diamonds to get there okay for me i went you guys can see i went for the top 30 at least so i get i got rank 22 so rank 22 next me i think around 30 frags so 30 frags plus the 80 frags that i got from the chess here I got a total of let me show you guys 118 diamonds uh, sorry 118 fragments for zero okay where did I get the extra eight from okay because there were like some events the defense war where for the for the past three days where zero was uh, going on so there's another six frags there and now two more I think from the clone event that that we did they give us like one frag each if you complete three clone events three clone battles basically so I just need another 32 more frags I'll be able to, I will be able to unlock zero okay the reason why I didn't I didn't go for zero because I don't really need him at the moment because I already have a tortoise soul tank which is Rugal okay 
the rest of my clubmates who actually went for zero because they do not have a tortoise soul character. When I say they do not have a tortoise soul character, meaning to say that they do not have a strong or a boss tortoise soul character. That's why they went for zero. Okay, zero tortoise soul is a bit different. He has the normal standard tortoise soul characteristic, but he also has this. Restore some rage for every attack dealt, which means that he has a little bit of adder soul inside of him. Okay? So, besides Rugal here, Zero is the next tortoise soul boss. And the gap between Rugal's release and Zero release was actually quite long, more than six months. So that is why my clubmates who are using four souls who do not have a proper tortoise soul boss or proper tortoise soul tank, they had to resort in using can soul or other characters like Orochi, Yashiro and stuff like that. Okay, so which is why when Zero comes around, they actually went in hard for him. Okay, this is also why at the same time I would like to explain why I hide my diamonds because we do not want our the other rival clubs to know how much diamonds we have because if they were to know how much diamonds we have they will try and spoil and destroy the so-called market for bosses okay as you guys can see in the live draw video this player called CBB Nick okay he already on the second day itself, he's already at about 6,000 over points already. Okay? 6,000 over points, which means to say that at the last few seconds of this draw, you will definitely hit above 10,000. Okay? So, what they try to do is basically they try to pump up the points as high as they can so that on the last day, they, they will try and force the rest of the players who's going for zero to spend a lot of diamonds, a lot more diamonds. Okay? But, there's another thing is that if that player is already preparing to go for this boss, no matter how much you try and bring up the price for this boss, that player will still go for that boss because we have already prepared the diamonds way ahead of time for this boss. Okay, not only for this boss, maybe for any other particular boss. Okay, so this is why not we hide our diamonds to not let other club to see what how much diamonds we have. So do not them let do not let them gauge on how much we will be spending. Okay, so this concludes zero live draw. I do know that the live draw video is very quiet. It's only me speaking, but. If I were to put in the original video, it will be very noisy and you guys can't really hear what I'm saying. But I will try better for the next live draw. Hopefully, I can include the background sound and me recording my voice over it at the same time. Much, much clearer. Okay, so this concludes um, Zero's live draw video. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.